Oh, dude. Wow, this is the Fornax Cluster, a cluster of galaxies moving around each other. Guess what? Forget about those sick gains in the gym. With this cluster, you can't see 80% of its mass. Mass is defined as that which produces gravity. And hang on, these clusters are moving fast, much faster than you would expect. But if the only matter present was that which we could see, it wouldn't have enough gravity to hold itself together and would fly apart. Ouch! Kinda like that. That invisible mass holding this cluster together, though, is dark matter. One fine day in Chicago, the city is a buzz with friendly people. Looking at the sky together This again? Don't you ever wonder where ghosts come from? We come from people, Scott. Yeah, but what are we? I mean, what is this? Why can we float through walls? I don't know. People can't float through walls. What's your point? So I've been doing some research. Uh, and I think I know. What do you think we're made of? Dark matter. Dark matter. We float through walls, B. Dark matter floats through walls. So does Wi-Fi. Maybe we're made of the internet. No, we did that one already. It's right here on the list. We're definitely not made of feathers, hot dogs, the internet. Okay, okay, but you think we are made of dark matter because we can float through walls? I'm just saying, follow the evidence. The evidence? Think about it. How long have we been haunting the CVS parking lot? I don't know, a hundred years, maybe two hundred? Does saying that make you feel old? No. Right, because you're an ethereal being condemned to roam the netherworld, consumed by your regrets until the end of time. You don't age. Guess what else doesn't age? Dark matter. Exactly. Can you believe it's 14 billion years old? It looks great. It doesn't look like anything. You can't see it. You can't see it. <laughs> Nobody can see it. It doesn't reflect light. Your face can't see it. <laughs> your face. <laughs> Hi, are you here for the panel on Dark Matter? Um, no, I'm here for a different panel. Um, I'm a panelist, actually. Well, I think you might be in the wrong place. This panel's about Dark Matter, and it starts in five minutes. Uh, no. See, here's my invitation. Johnson Theater, 10 a.m. Look, Johnson Theater, 10 a.m. No, this can't happen. My boss is going to be in the audience. My boss is going to be here in the audience, too. And she said if I screw this up in any way, I can kiss my tenure goodbye. Okay. Let's think. If we're both going to be in such deep sludge, we might have to combine our panels. But do you know anything about dark matter? No. But we can make this work. Let's just keep our answers vague enough where we could be talking about anything. You know, like, yes and each other? Uh, okay, I guess that's our only option, but what's your panel about? Bed bug prevention? What? Hi, I'm here to moderate the panel. Yes, and we are your panelists. Yes, we are very prepared for this. I've been waiting for this for so long, I can't wait. Thank you everyone for attending today's panel. Uh, I have a list of questions here for our experts. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Meredith. And 
I- I'm Geza. Okay, now on the count of three, everyone simultaneously, please say what this panel is about today. One, two, three. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yes, exactly. Moderator, first question. As experts in your field, could you tell us a little bit about the history yes. of- Yes, history. Uh, well, as we all know, this- thing has been around for much longer than we even know. Yes, and for a long time, people didn't even believe it was real. Yeah, sort of a thing of myths. Uh, until it became very apparent to many people that it really is there. But it went undetected for a long time, yes? Indeed, though it could be all around us at any time. Folks don't even know it's there. And how was it detected? Mainly, we saw the effects it has on the things around it. Uh Uh-huh. Because, though it may be somewhat invisible, it leaves a mark, as we all know. The effects are very noticeable, and honestly, what tipped people off in the first place. And, of course, it helps if you have a strong magnifying tool. Oh, those are always helpful for observation. And actually, some dogs can even detect it. Nope. Well, what I mean is, dogs are pretty amazing. Uh, They could. Now that we know about this issue, what can we do to address the effects of it? Well, there's not really anything we can do. That's where I disagree. Um, Research shows that our choices actually can make a big difference in the effects that we see. So sorry, I'm late. I'm I'm here for the panel on COVID-19. Am I in the right place? No. No. Yes, wait. I thought I was moderating a panel on COVID-19 this whole time. 10 a.m. Johnson Theater? Okay. Well, that sounds like some sort of a glitch or mix-up with the Google Calendar. Definitely not our fault. Guess we'll have to postpone this panel on dark matter. Yes, uh, it is a dark matter to talk about bed bug infestations. So, bye. Good. Is all I need to know about you You're obsessed with what sparkles and shines But you look through me, you miss the signs It wasn't until the light didn't move quite right That you asked what else could be out in the night You define me by what I'm not A mathematical afterthought You say my interactions are weak But I don't accept that as a critique Your thinking is all wrong You see, there are other kinds of strong to be I'm weak, but I'm massive I'm small, but I'm everywhere You thought what you couldn't see, couldn't be Well, you don't know dark matter There's so much more of me than you And everything that counts says things to you I'm older than the oldest star you know I don't freeze, burn, shine, reflect, or explode Since power is all you understand The structure of the universe is in my hands All that sparkles is drawn to me I'm where every super cluster wants to be It's not about how hard you can hit How tight you can hold How much you destroy when you explode Your thinking is all wrong, you see There are other kinds of strong to be I'm weak, but I'm massive I'm small, but I'm everywhere You thought what you couldn't see, couldn't be Well, you don't know dark matter You think I'm background, but you're caught in my web I'll never back down, you're not done with me yet You think I'm background, but you're caught in my web I'll never back down, you're not done with me yet I'm not electric or magnetic, but I'm awesome, don't forget it I'm weak, but I'm massive I'm small, but I'm everywhere You thought what you couldn't see, couldn't be Well, you don't know Lots of gravity Instead of nasty buzzing flies It snatches galaxies It may not have a pincer mouth Or leggies long and lithe But like its creepy crawly friend Its talent is to hide Insailing all the matter And collecting all the stars 
stringing them together, making clusters near and far. Until we have the answers to the questions we don't know, we'll think of sticky stringing webs creeping high and low. Ghosts can't be made of dark matter, Scott. I know, it's hard to believe. No, it's impossible. What do you mean? We can see each other. You can't see dark matter. You can't see dark matter. Nobody can see dark matter. Also, we're talking to each other. Dark matter... Doesn't have a mouth? No, it does not have a mouth. <laughs> Mouths are funny. But even if it did have a mouth, it couldn't talk. When you talk, you make sound waves that travel through the air. Dark matter can't manipulate air like that. It floats right through air, just like it floats through walls. We float through walls. Scott, what's the first thing that happens when we float near some people? Before or after we rattle the doorknobs. What? Who cares? Let's say after. The people feel a creeping sense of dread and a sudden sharp awareness of their own mortality. Before that. They shiver. <laughs> right, they get cold. That wouldn't happen if we were made of dark matter. Why not? Not. Because dark matter doesn't affect the temperature of what's around it. So, dark matter doesn't make people cold. No. It doesn't touch the air. Right. And it doesn't have a mouth? Yes. But we do? Yes. Okay, but... What? You're stuck on the walls thing? It just makes sense. Scott, dark matter doesn't just float through walls. It floats through itself, too. It doesn't stick together like the stuff that makes planets and stars and walls and people and ghosts. But it has so much mass so much gravity that it collapsed in on itself after the Big Bang, and regular matter coalesced around it. Dark matter is like a giant web that connects everything else in the universe. A web? Like a spider web? Mm, kinda. Are we made of spiders? Maybe. I'm putting it on the list. Seat from CBS, but longer still are the chains which bound you to this mortal coil. 